been a very productive week for me on Project Flat Out. I'm sort of in disbelief that nothing dramatic fell apart while I was trying to do this. The parts that I ordered came in, I was able to finish up the power steering. Power steering hoses didn't turn out exactly the way I thought. I thought that I'd make two braided steel lines and it turns out that the lining in the hose is not big enough to go over the nipple for the low side on the back of the power steering pump. So for the low side, I'm just going to use the regular AutoZone replacement hose. That part's done. I moved on to installing the Fast Easy EFI system. That's going very, very well. I've got probably two thirds of the system in place right now. The physical parts are all installed except for the fuel pump. Half the wiring is done. Uh, so I'm going to continue work on that and hopefully that's going to go smoothly. While I was working on that, I needed to take the ARB air compressor out from underneath the dashboard. So I went ahead and finished installing the ARB line to the rear differential and the solenoid that needed to be uh, screwed into the pump in order to make that work. I went ahead and recovered the seats while I was at it. Uh, not a critical part of the build by any stretch of the imagination, but it was nice to get that done and it was something I did at the end of one of the nights when I didn't have a whole lot of brain power left. So they look great. I think I'll be comfortable enough and um, pretty happy with the way that turned out. I also got some work done on the radiator. I had ordered a custom radiator from Flexlight and when I set it in the vehicle I realized that I had made a mistake on the dimensions and also the uh, radiator inlet. So using that radiator I was able to fine tune exactly what I needed. It turned out to be a, a benefit except of course for having to order two radiators. The uh, benefit is that I was able to do a cross flow instead of a down flow radiator and that also allowed me to, to have a divider put in there so it's going to be a, a dual pass radiator. The inlet and outlet will both be on the passenger side so that will help with cooling and to facilitate that I bought a Transdap swivel water inlet and installed that on the intake manifold so that I can have uh, both the inlet and outlet of the radiator going over to the passenger side. Things have been going really well so I'm a little scared that I'm gonna come across something pretty soon that is just a deal breaker, like the crank is falling into the oil pan or you know who knows what, but something. It just seems to come up at the last minute. Hopefully that's not gonna happen. We'll see how things progress. Stay tuned and see what happens next.